I came back from international four weeks trip and I would like to talk about travel skincare, what I really used, what I didn't use, so you can use my tips for your next travel. So let's dig in. The first bag that I have here is only skincare. So I brought a cleanser. So this one, I just used the Sulvaso cleansing oil bottle of 50 milliliters. So it's slightly less than two ounces. So what I suggest you is uh, if you use anything that is oil, for example, cleansing oil or hair oils, or anything like that please put it in the plastic bag don't feel it right to the top feel it like maybe just uh, up here because when the skincare is moving inside your bag it also expanding in the air so it might leak and also put it in the plastic bag and use a tie to kind of like put it together so in case if the plastic bag open or something happened to the plastic bag you know it's still kind of like inside the plastic bag because it's actually the the spout of the pump can actually leak sometime after you use it actually i didn't have a problem at all using cleansing oil in the plastic bag like this i it never leaked inside my luggage it leaked right after i used it but in general it was fine then I also brought a serum. I actually didn't think on bringing any serum. I actually changed my mind to smaller version. So this one is Dr. Jar's Sika Pear Tiger Grass Serum. It's only 15 milliliters. And I can tell you that I use this almost every day for four weeks and I still have some left. Just in general, I will tell you that don't bring like full size products because you're not going to use all of that. Then I brought a gel cream to use it in the mornings and I use it sometime but most of the time I didn't use it because I had very moisturizing SPFs this one is by Rovectin clean lotus water cream I use it as a body moisturizer it's not enough as a body moisturizer but you know in the travel mode it works fine and on my face it also works fine I really love this gel cream because it doesn't feel like nothing it still gives you that moisturizing properties just a little bit and it's perfect for summer for combination and oily skin then I brought also moisturizer that a little bit richer this one is by Dr. Jart Sika Pear tiger grass cream so this one again is uh let me see how many 15 ml as well as the serum and i still have some left so i use this uh sometimes i use just this one in the end of the day like when i'm so tired i don't even want to wash my face like literally so just think about that as when you travel you don't really focus on doing 10 step skincare i mean of course if you feel like you want want to do 10 steps uh, or whatever steps you want of course do it i actually love the texture of this it doesn't feel as too heavy as for like night cream that you might use like in dry climate and in winter so this one is perfect for combination skin maybe for dry skin in summer i would say oily skin maybe it wouldn't work that much but it has slight sand which i'm fine with it i was happy with the serum and with the cream from the same line and i would love even to use the full size in the future I also brought a Bliss Acne Spot Treatment Clear Genius. I had a few breakouts on my chin and I applied it. And what I love about this is that it's like a gel and it's calming and it's not irritating and it's uh, perfect and overnight it really reduces uh, the breakouts next one that i brought and i barely used because i didn't feel like using it at all so this one is by neogen naturals a real ferment micro essence 93 percent micro ferment complex it's a mini size i opened it a few months ago it's actually fine on using it every day i think it has like a blend of ha bha pha it's super gentle like extremely gentle and i think it's fine on using it every day even two times per day if you want in summer i feel like this essence work for my skin more as a skincare booster uh, it doesn't give me that like some people say hydrating properties or anything but i use it a few times when i felt like i'm breaking out and i feel like my skin is a little bit textured and it helped me uh, in some way too 
I also forgot that I brought a foaming cleanser, which I use, I think, one or two times. Uh, I actually use only oil cleanser, and I felt like it was enough for me because I didn't wear uh, like heavy makeup. I will jump to the makeup that I brought. So this one is by Lagom Salap micro foam cleanser this cleanser is very gentle and it foams up instantly and it helps you know to remove all that cleansing oil and leftover impurities and makeup and sunscreen and everything but i'm fine just using the cleansing oil and for me it was already enough I also brought a lip balm. Actually, I didn't reach out to it that much because the formula was just horrible. But in general, I will suggest you to bring like a really hydrating and skin protective lip balm because while you stay in the hotels, the aircon is running most of the time. In general, I felt like my lips are on drier side. So this one was by Higher Education Makeup make out ready vegan lip balm spf 15 i actually didn't bring any other lip balm uh, because i felt like i don't want to bring like uh, extra lip balm so uh, instead of spf on your lips you can use just spf on your lips that you use on your face it's totally fine as well i also brought pimple patches so it's acne pimple master patch by cosarex but i'm sure that inside there are some other pimple patches i think i brought like burrito pimple patches which are also very thin and invisible i use it a couple of times i also use it on my mosquito bites because after a few days mosquito bites turn into kind of like pimple so actually you can use any hydrocolloid pimple patch and you know it doesn't take a lot of space it's very flat it's light uh, I haven't seen it actually in pharmacies or where I was shopping, like in supermarkets, pimple patches, but I'm sure if you go like to really pharmacies like CVS or Walgreens or something like that, you can find them, but I didn't want to risk and, you know, I wanted to save time instead of looking for this. Of course, I brought a ton of sunscreens because I thought it's going to be summer, I'm going to wear some shirts and i'm going to apply it on my arms and on my legs but in general the weather was very cool and not sunny that much of course i apply it on exposed areas to the sun but uh, actually in estonia it was very hot and i used some of the sunscreen that i didn't find good for my face because it was too heavy too oily and i used it on my body and it was amazing so i can jump to the sunscreen that i finished so i finished the alba uv essence waterfall sunscreen is uh, the physical version of the sunscreen it's nice and it also can substitute the makeup i also talk about the sunscreen in my other videos i will link those videos in this video as well and in the description so this is nice sunscreen it's mineral one but it's kind of oily sometimes so if it's like uh, summer or maybe you have dry skin maybe it's fine to use it but in general yeah it can be drying finish a mini of make prem and this one was susan physical sun cream formulated with tink uv defense me calming sun cream this one was a mini and i also finished it like in the first week i guess or two i don't remember i also applied on my um on the back of my uh hands and in general it's a nice sunscreen and it's not drying that much it gives a white cast sometime on my skin on my skin so in general yeah it's fine to use it actually daily go to sunscreen by purito this one that was reformulated this one is hybrid spf and i can say that i didn't like it in the beginning when i use it but on the trip i really liked it and i apply it many times replication also very easy and didn't stain my eyes i don't know what happened on the trip any sunscreen that i use didn't stain my eyes at all when i'm at home it's like stinging my eyes all the time i don't know maybe i'm sweating too much here in california so I use it on the body as well and I almost finish it. I just want to cut the packaging and finish everything up. I brought other three sunscreen that I didn't use. And again, I feel like I overreacted with the sunscreens, but again, 
Uh, I brought the Metaphorat sunscreen. It's a chemical, no, this is actually a chemical physical sunscreen. I applied actually a few times because it's like kind of like running out right now in the packaging. So it's also nice sunscreen. It peels a little bit. It also didn't sting my eyes. I don't know what happened. Like it stained my eyes when I first tried it in September. And yeah, it's nice sunscreen. It's not the same as Purito one, but it gives kind of like dewy finish. Uh, yes, uh, if you apply it on just bare skin, it's natural finish. And I also apply it on my body. I give links to this sunscreen as well. I brought Hero Cosmetic Rescue Balm, color correcting green balm. I think I use it only a few times. I was also invited to the wedding and this is, was my foundation product and it looked uh, really nice if you apply just a few dots and it helped with my redness. It's also very moisturizing. I'm not sure how it's going to work on oily skin, but dry and combination skin is actually very suitable. Then I brought a mini of Laura Messier Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara. It's actually uh, not enough, I would say, because I was wearing mascara every day, in, you know, just to look a, a little bit better because like I don't want to look kind of like sleepy every day and also when I'm taking pictures. So I would suggest to use a travel size, not a mini, not a sample size of mascara. For example, I like uh, Rare Beauty Mascara, which is also in travel uh, size this one is not enough i would say because for one month the sample size is not enough the lipstick that i feel like i'm running out already because i was reapplying this sun uh, this not sunscreen lipstick by charlotte tilbury and this one is by pillow talk so i can show you that um you need to kind of like twist it little little by little each time when you apply it because if you twist in too much it's going to leak and it also feels so nice on my lips that I didn't want to use my SPF balm. So what I did, I applied just a little bit of SPF, then I wait some time until my lips dry out and then I applied this on top and my lips never felt dry anymore while I was using this uh, lipstick at all. And I feel like I'm running out of it because I feel like it's just right here. It's just right here. And I'm afraid to run it out because this is the best lipstick that I ever try and was tested for four weeks every day. I also brought a tiny Misha. I don't remember what's the name here, but a tiny eyeshadows. I barely used it. I also brought perfume vials. And I used up only one and a half. I don't suggest you bring like a, a lot of perfume unless you know that you're going to spray yourself, you know, from top to the bottom. Hair care. So I brought the hair care samples, uh, sorry, uh, shampoos and conditioners. Uh, I have a lot, but sometime I try to use in the hotel what hotel provides. And then I use conditioner that I had because conditioner that sometime provided by hotel is not good enough and also you can buy anytime in the grocery store or pharmacies uh, small packaging as well and yeah I used up some of the samples thanks god because I have more at home I also brought the hair oil instead of lots of conditioner because this hair oil is actually working better than any conditioner would work to be honest. So this one is by Mice and Sing Perfect Serum and it smells divine. It smells like, like not like roses, but like very floral, but it's like very nice floral scent. And I had, I think like almost full bottle and I use it almost every day because I felt like my hair is very, very dry sometimes. And I didn't even use that up. And of course, I put it in the plastic bag and with a tie around. So in case if it's leaking, which has never happened to me in four weeks. So I guess this is all for the travel skincare. I hope you enjoy my video. Sorry for making it a little bit longer than I used to make my videos. So I see you in my next videos and bye bye.